welcome along to Northern Farms. The carrot harvest has been delayed by the weather and now we need to finish them off so we can get the first cut of grass done before winter hits. Can we catch up? Let's get farming. So I got my tractor up and moving again. We got very, very stuck at the end of the last episode. We have managed to get to 98% uh, full here. So we should be emptying another load of carrots out any minute. Yeah, there we go. Lifting and uh, round. Really want to get these emptied out today as quickly as possible because we we absolutely whoa need to get these done so let's uh unload these like that i think that will push them out the back yep and then as soon as those are clear we should be able to lift this back up again get a new set of boxes and that is yep my new boxes to fill so we'll grab those and then we can continue on. We don't want to reverse up. We want to move forwards. And then once I'm out of the way on this row, what we'll be able to do is go and get the... Uh, go and get the telehandler and get uh, those boxes moved out of the way. We did manage to buy boxes there, though, despite the fact that we were in the minus numbers. That is very, very interesting. Uh, I didn't know that was possible. So, yeah, in order to keep harvesting, uh, you can buy boxes even when you're in the negative. Uh, mainly because I think you end up sort of leasing them. The boxes disappear once you finish. So down and in and into another row. And with any luck, we will get all of this finished off today because it is November. This is the last day we can harvest these carrots. And uh, we need to get them up because we need to make some money off them. So with the tractor well out of the way, we can go and grab these. The, la the back one didn't quite unload, as I would have hoped. So that is a little bit of an issue. Uh, but we have got another four boxes of carrots off here. Uh, that, is a that is a nice amount of carrots we got off this field. We definitely picked up the wrong harvester, though, unfortunately. Uh, I There's a harvester that is a third of the price that would have done boxes as well. We'd have had to have bought boxes more often and drop them more off more often as well. Um, but it would have saved us a lot of money. I don't know if it'd been any faster. That's my only worry. Uh, but dealing with the small fields that we're dealing with at the moment... Uh, I think it would have made a better choice. So I'm very much thinking of continuing carrots on here. Uh, I think uh, a carrot and a uh, a carrot mix with a, uh, a a grain crop is a good one. Uh, I think we can uh, get storage a little better than this. I think building a grain store is one of the the big things I need to do on the farm quite where i'm going to put it at the moment with how we are i don't know uh we might have to to see what we can do um but yeah grain store is going to be something that is very needed around here and i've no idea where to place it at the moment uh the rest though uh we can put these in the shed without too much difficulty if we're not having to tip grain on the ground so, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really a case of working everything out. And once we've worked out where everything goes, uh, we should be good. For now, let's get this collected up and clear our field off so that we can keep going. We're motoring through here and now, now again, it's quarter past nine. So uh, time is massively in the essence today. I was hoping to be much further along with this. And maneuverability seems to be the big issue for us more than anything else. Uh, this is not a huge field. Uh, and this isn't that big a harvester, to be honest. Uh, I discovered the two-row pickup here it tends to pick up about a row and a half. So uh, that would speed things up a little bit. Uh, but we've got to be careful not to miss anything. The actual uh, time it's taking to fill a box 
is not too long. We're almost up to two boxes here. You can see the amount of maneuvering I'm have to do with this to actually get myself into position, especially on this side of the field. Uh, there's a lot of uh, maneuvering to get up to the top end bit to then get myself in and lined up to pick up a row. Uh, but it's working, and uh, I'm getting more efficient at it the further I go. Seems that there's more left on this side of the field than there is on the other. So what I'm going to need to do is uh, start going around this side uh, a little bit differently. But uh, we're doing okay at the moment. We've got a nice amount of carrots coming off here. We are, I think, going to run out of storage space at some point. So uh, we've got to really start to consider that. And in fact, I need to check exactly what price the carrots are going for. Because I have a feeling we need to be selling them fairly soon as well. And I was talking about getting a more maneuverable harvester. This one here is 181,000. This is the one we're using. And uh, in fact, somebody pointed out to me in the comments that we could have got this one. So this has the ability to put a box on it and uh yeah this would have been this is a three-point mounted it's really close to the tractor for a field this size would have worked really well we'd have had to drop boxes off a little bit more often and purchase box but uh yeah that would have been a brilliant one to get so i think if we continue with uh continue with the carrots on here we might get that while we're in the shop let's have a quick look in the sales as well oh, there is a uh, carrot harvester in the sales however this this is really interesting this has a telehandler adaption and uh oh yeah i think i think we should actually buy this that would be good and what's this this would also be good i think okay so i am gonna borrow fifteen thousand. i'm gonna get both of those purchased so uh one two three thirteen thousand six hundred and fifty so we're gonna buy this i am not gonna put the support roller on it i am going to go with the pink uh foil wrap this time and we will buy that. Yes. Okay. And that leaves us with 5,681, which is enough to get this. Uh, this is a three meter power arrow. Yeah, it's a cultivator, which we need. So uh, let's buy that as well. Yes. Okay. And we can go and pick both of those up later. Uh, and in fact, yeah, we're going to have to borrow more money today because we're going to need to get a mower too one other advantage i think to getting that other harvester would be that we could actually put a hired worker on it i can't run a hired worker with this we we are stuck doing this ourselves simply because the uh the harvester is is too unwieldy to uh, actually handle that now i've got four boxes in my way so I need to reverse this up and then I can bring my telehandler in again. But yeah, I, if I if I was able to run uh, the tractor and the harvester on a hired worker, that could drop stuff and then I could come in with the telehandler and move boxes out of the way and still have the whole thing still running. It's very time consuming going out and getting these boxes. We end up with a lot of carrots off here, but just a huge amount of time it, it takes us to do it. And if I'm having to go uh, back four times instead of two, because these are very precariously on the front here, uh, then it takes even more time. We need, a, we need a storage facility for these carrots, and we need a, uh, a, a grain store for our... Uh, grain uh, i think that uh, the horse yard is gonna have to go and uh, i'm gonna have to do a rebuild of everything around there yeah look at this we have way more carrots coming in now than we have space to store them this is probably gonna be the last two i can get in here 
It's getting round that corner now. That is getting a lot harder with those in there. I think we've run out of storage space in the sheep barn and I do not want to sell the sheep barn off yet or sell the sheep yard off because we want to have sheep. So I've started to do things slightly differently. We are now getting the larger part of the field done and uh, I've started dropping boxes in the middle of the field and leaving them to pick up later. The two thoughts behind this are, one, we're not spending ages going around and uh, getting the boxes uh, put away in space that we actually at the moment don't have. Uh, we're looking at probably selling parrots fairly soon anyway, so uh, we can probably sell them right off the field, which would be good. Uh, the second thing is we are running out of time. It is half past 12. Uh, yes, we are running it 10 times, and that is simply to keep these uh, videos nice and tight and give us a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a, 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 a clock that's uh, that's always on our backs and always uh, getting us to do things. However, uh, with these carrots, it's proving to be uh, quite quite a steep one. Uh, I I very much thinking that this would have gone better with that smaller harvester. Certainly, we would have been able to have kept on going in the mud because we wouldn't have been trying to pull uh, this harvester with a whole load of carrots in a box uh, behind us. We would have uh, just been all with this tractor, uh, which we would have done. We saw that uh, uncoupled from this, uh, this piece of kit, the tractor would have kept going. So, yeah, we'd have probably been better off running with that instead of what we're actually running with here. And... Um, so uh, I am now all about getting this done as quickly as possible and knocking the remaining rows out. We've got a small area on the other side to get done. So by the time we are fully done on this side, I'm hoping we can knock the other bit out, the small bit at the far side of the field out fairly quickly. At least the weather stayed dry today and we're looking at it getting even drier as we go into the latter part of the afternoon. It is 20 past one though. And as you can see, we've got two more sets of boxes. We've got two more boxes already full here. And there are so many carrots on this field for us to get. And, oh man, I am missing lots now. If I'm honest, I'm rushing a little bit. We're not being overly clean about this. Uh, I am trying to get as much up as I can because I know that if we don't get these up today, then we are going to uh, not be able to get them up at all. December is too late to get carrots, and, uh, and this whole field will wither. You can see the bottom end of the field, though, is looking quite thin at this point. Top end here is uh, a little bit wider because it widens out. And there's some stuff we're going to have to go around the other way to get with the headland. Because it gets too close into the trees there. So uh, still plenty to get up off this field. Uh, and uh, we've almost doubled the number of carrots uh, that we've harvested so far with this field today. So that's good. I mean, we're going to get a good amount of carrots off here. It's just whether we can get them off here in time. I think I was being a little bit too hopeful getting all of these carrots up today and trying to get some uh, grass cut as well. Uh, it does mean if we don't succeed in getting any grass cut today that we're going to have to wait till the spring. Uh, it would have been nice to have had a, uh, a good cut of grass at this point and ended up uh, going into the winter, being able to sell some silage bales. Uh, we'd have been able to have bought some hay and uh, and got the cows and the sheep set up. Instead, what it means is we'll probably end up spending the winter trying to get our fields turned around as much as possible, getting all of our scanning done and uh, and all of that kind of thing, and ending up going for... A, uh, a, a a very strong arable start to the year with uh, the cows and the sheep probably starting off 
in the spring so so march april time looking to to do that but it would be nice to have funded the cows and the sheep's arrival uh with some silage bales uh, but at the moment i just don't see how that's going to be possible it is coming up to three o'clock and we still have uh, a section of the field to get harvested uh, before we can get anywhere near getting a mower having said that that may not be such a huge problem we do have all these carrots and we know that the cell time of all these carrots having said that that may not be a problem we know that we've got all these carrots that we've harvested uh we know that they're worth a fair amount of money i mean we've got we've got a decent number of them and uh even worth at about 250 pound a thousand liters they are still gonna pay pretty well and in fact how much are our carrots worth so price for the carrots we got 62,000 liters at 196 pounds uh they're worth 12,000 at the moment however uh, they can be worth up to 19,000 so uh that's not bad uh january is the best time to sell so we'll be doing a big sell off at that point and uh, that will work out fairly well for us that should keep us going nowhere near as much as we'd made would have made for silage bales had we managed to cut some grass today so uh if the sun stays up in the sky for a little bit longer who knows we might actually get some grass cut so i'm on to the small patch at the bottom of the field now we're going to treat this in the same way uh go down around the edge here and work our way in and hopefully end up with a, a good collection of the carrots from here and then like we've got on the other side oh this won't turn in this space uh like we've got on uh, the side over there there's a big triangle of uh, of carrots that we uh, are gonna need to go and harvest up because of the way we originally harvested this part of the field and wow yeah we're gonna have the same at the top end here because we're having to make the turn earlier and cut in so a lot of clean up to go but at the moment need to turn this off lift this up and drop the next set of boxes off well there's not a huge amount left on this field we are almost there my biggest worry at the moment is uh well as always time we have been thrown out completely by the issue with the rain yesterday and uh, this field is well this field is going to get completed we are at least going to get all of our carrots in but we are not going to be able to get anything uh, or any grass cut unfortunately as much as i would have liked that to have uh, happened uh, we are just nowhere near being able to do something like that today and you can see the sun is setting and it's going to be dark uh, by the time we finish this field i think we'll probably go and pick up the bits from the shop next time uh we we are gonna need to start turning these fields around we're gonna need to get these fields scanned as well um because there's that too that needs doing and yeah it's a decent amount off here i think we need to find a way to really make these carrots pay because at the moment uh, i'm not sure parrots are the way to go on here let me know what you think in the comments though would you like to see me continue with the carrots on here or should we try and stick to some other crops uh that we well that we can all do with a combine harvester for example or should we try and uh, branch out a little bit i kind of like the stuff from the premium expansion um, but it is going to almost double our cost to get everything set up, I think. And yeah, look at that. Straight down that row there. I think there might be another couple of boxes worth of carrots left on this field, you know. I think that is just about everything. There's a few little patches dotted around the field. But pretty much, I think we're going to get as much as we uh, can without actually just running around everywhere 
Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got a few patches and spots and bits, but uh, nothing major there. So let's just bring this up. I will unload this. Uh, that's four and uh, about four and a half boxes or four and a half loads off of here of these. So uh, we can deal with those later. That didn't unload quite as uh, neatly as I'd liked, but um, it has worked. Uh, I am going to immediately return this. I think if we continue with carrots, we are not going to continue with this harvester. So let's return that, seeing as we've got fairly expensive setup. Uh, and we don't want the daily cost of that anymore. So that has been returned. And yeah, it's dark. We've got a lot of carrots on here. How many carrots do we have? So our final total of carrots is just under 70,000. Uh, and we're looking at about 21,000 selling those in January. So, uh, yeah, that's um, that's going to be fairly good. Uh, we've not got many eggs at the moment. And so it's not making, uh, yeah, they're not making too much. So, yeah, it's uh, it's night time. We've got our two tra our tractor and our telehandler here. It's going to be a lot of cleaning up next time. So uh, we will crack on with that. For now, I'm going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.